What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are in the shop again for day two on the fuel system build. Uh, got the truck back up in the air. Uh, we've got the fuel system down there, the fuel tank down there. So I guess if any of you guys are new to the channel, we are doing a complete fuel system on this truck. Um, doing some hutch mod inside the tank. Uh, doing a sump down on the bottom of the tank. We got a new air dog fuel pump. We're running lines up into the engine bay with some lines on the engine. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, this is the second video of the series. You can go back. I'll have it linked in the description for the first video um, if you want to go back and watch that. Um, but I think we're going to get going on this work today. Don't know how far we'll get, um, but we'll take you along for whatever we do get done today. All right, well, since we have the tank out of the truck, it was way too dirty on the outside for my liking. Uh, so we're gonna be pressure washing it off a little bit and getting it clean. Yes, I know it's on the bottom of the truck, it doesn't really matter, but I have it out. Might as well clean it up, make it nice um, while it's out. Otherwise, it'll never happen. And I like the peace of mind knowing that it's clean under the truck. Maybe that's just me, but uh, we're gonna clean it up. So in this clip, I'm showing you the inside of the tank where you can see the filler neck and air breather. Um, what I'll be doing is a something called the harpoon mod, which is actually trimming that white pipe of the filler neck so it doesn't stick down as far into the tank. What this does is it allows you to actually fill the tank up faster and more because the pump's not shutting off at the bottom of that neck anymore. So here you can see that I have trimmed off a few inches of it, nothing crazy, um, but it should make a difference in filling. And then here's another view of how much I trimmed. All right guys, so here's the factory sending unit for the tank. Um, you got, when you're taking it out, be careful not to bend your kind of level gauge, uh, your float, uh, because then your readings will get all bad. Uh, for anybody that's just going into their tank to do the harpoon mod, which I showed earlier, um, you can also pay attention. A lot of times these pickup screens will break off, and if you're running out of fuel early um, at about a quarter tank, it's usually because this screen or pickup tube broke off. Um, and then inside of here, you actually have two little filters or pre-pump filters in there that can often get pretty plugged up and give you fuel issues that way so it's not a bad idea um, to get in here check those filters and check this screen if you're having fuel issues um, for me i'm going to be removing this pickup screen and then um, putting it back into the tank because this will be in the way of the sump uh, that which you guys will be able to see or what you saw in the last video and i might show again but we're going to be taking this off and putting it back together and that should be just about everything we're going to be doing to the tank.
All right, so here's where the old tank was. These factory lines connected to the top of the tank, and then they run along the frame rail up inside, along, up, you got your oil filter, and then they connect right up there by your block heater cord. Um, and that's where you can disconnect those, and those lines will go up to the top of the engine. And I think I will be removing those. Um, if you look here, you can see your factory fuel pump, the Bosch pump. Uh, if you're ever replacing it or going to be moving it, it's right there. Alright, so we got the air dog all mounted up to the frame. It was pretty simple. Um, it's got the, these two steel mounting plates that just pinch the frame in between them. And that's what holds it up. Um, from here, we're going to probably put the fuel tank back in and start fitting up lines uh, as long as everything fits back in. Um, it might be a little tight between the tank and the frame, but we're going to see. Um, so yeah, we're going to put it all back together, start putting it back together and see how it fits. As you can see, got that part of the fuel sump in. That is what goes inside the tank um, that you actually clamp down onto so it pinches the tank in between itself, um, in between the bottom of the sump and that bracket. Um, it, you can see it's notched out. It's pretty simple. It's notched out. You just pop it in one side and then roll it up onto the other side of the tank. Um, we're going to install the rest of the sump and kind of show you how that works. Alright, so we got the sump assembled. This is the billet sump from GNR Performance or GNR Diesel. Um, pretty simple setup. We got the return line here that just screws in hand tight into the sump. You got your O ring which seals it, and then you got your two half inch AN fittings um, which have these uh, push lock fittings so you can just push your fuel line hose onto it. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, we'll put it up in the truck and let you see. guys well that's it for the day we're just about out of time um, made pretty good progress so far um, we got tank back in fuel sumps in air dog pump is mounted so all we have left to do pretty much is run the wiring harness uh, run the fuel line up to the engine and then put our fuel bowl delete in so not too bad should be one more day's work and this thing should be back on the road uh, thanks for sticking around this long if you made it uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it really helps youtube share it more um, if you have any questions please leave a comment i'll be more than willing to answer what i can um, and make sure to stick around for the next video i'm excited to see this thing back on the road uh, thanks for tagging along and we'll catch you on the next one